What is up YouTube fam, TJP Fishing Outdoors coming back with another video and I got some bad news. So I went on Facebook Marketplace, Kenzie wanted an iPad for Christmas so she was like don't buy me a brand new one from Best Buy for $600. I was like okay whatever. I was gonna do it anyway. She's like I like these ones on Amazon or on Facebook Marketplace. I was like okay. So there was one for 180 bucks, and uh, I thought, oh, that's great, I got it. Uh, everything looked cool, everything looked legit. They were like, what's your cash app? I gave it to them, and uh, I sent them the money. Then they blocked me and deleted the listing for me to see, so I don't even know if it's available. but. Be careful out there guys when you guys when you buy stuff from Facebook marketplace bought my boat from Facebook marketplace I bought a whole lot of other stuff from Facebook marketplace but that was a scam so just keep that in mind when you all are shopping on there always meet up in person don't buy anything that they'll ship or anything like that always meet up in person unless you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that it's legit so coming in at the verse today we have Romans 8:26 In the same way the spirit helps us in our weakness we do not know what we ought to pray for but the spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans So take that verse with you throughout your week I apologize for the wind noise If there is any I'm trying to stay behind my truck where the wind was blowing and now it's blowing the other way But what this video is all about isn't just to talk about my Facebook marketplace scam. It's actually to talk about my Facebook marketplace Best buy that I think I've got My boat that's right, it's a little bit different than what you saw last time we painted the trailer me and Ken's did painted the trailer and Painted it bright orange. I painted the wheels black. I mean there's some some places you can touch up on the orange and there's a little, little paint on the tires and a little paint on the license plate, but other than that, I mean, it is a great looking trailer. Also, what this video is about is I'm going to be finishing the floor with you guys. I have one last piece to put in and the flooring will be done on the boat and I'm so excited to show you guys. So that's my 1986 bomber or 1987 bomber. That I bought off a of Facebook marketplace and it has treated me so good. I replaced the trolling motor on the front of it. It had a 35 pound thrust and now I have a Minn Kota Maxim 2009 uh, 70 pound thrust and that thing will flat out move the boat. I put these, uh, the carpet on these, or this foam, EVA foam that I got off of Amazon on the latches I painted the latches black and put there's lights in here that you can turn on at night it came with a helix 5 um just standard it didn't have gps or anything but that's what that is on, on the front that's what i use um and we replaced the flooring in here there was a big hole in the floor, so we put plywood over it, sealed it. I wanted to put fiberglass over it, but we couldn't find the actual fiberglass, uh, like the shreds. So we just waterproofed the wood and screwed it in there the best we could. And then coming to the back, uh, well, we'll come all the way to the back. We'll skip the middle. Put foam over that. We have a, a 1987 Mercury 60 horsepower, two-stroke, three-cylinder and i put foam all over this i'll show you a result whenever we're finished with that side over there but so up in the middle we got our control system and everything this the bilge pump works lights work on this um i think this is an accessory but i don't know where accessory power is um i guess that's if you want to put like an accessory power in it it's there the aerator doesn't work but i have a new uh aerator pump to see if that's the problem got to change the fuel gauge or check on that um, i was going to do that once i finished the floor now the flooring is not perfect there's a little gap here but 
it's a little touch my own. I mean, everybody's got these nice fancy boats with perfect everything. Well, I mean, I bought this thing for hardly anything, and we're trying to make a turd polish, and we have got this turd shined up. But I want to take you guys, I ripped out the carpet. I am keeping the side carpeting because I wanted to keep something on this boat original. Um, so there's side carpeting in there that I'm keeping and it holds dirt well, I'll just tell you that. I mean, we'll just come on in here. So I like to take my shoes off now. So climb on the trailer, climb on this. And now we're in the boat and I'm walking up. To where the hole was now you can feel where the wood is but it's not soft anymore like it used to be you can pounce on it like this and make everything jiggle and it ain't you ain't gonna fall through so it was a big help from kenzie's dad to help me with that because i was getting stressed out about it and the flooring oh i just scraped my toe on that saw the flooring feels really good on your just bare feet and when it's sitting out in the hot sun let me tell you it is hot so this is me standing up on top of the boat on the trailer no problem um but i just love it i love the boat so much i've always wanted a big bass boat and now that you know i've got an actual full-time job and i can save my money when I want to and where I want to save my money at and I can spend the money where I want I sold some stuff to get the money for it and there was you know other boats I could have saved more money on but uh, I just I saw it on a Facebook group that I was in and I was like boom I gotta have it I know right where right where that was so without further ado I mean we'll get right in so I cut out Cut the carpet out, ripped it out, and then wiped up some of the dirt. I could have like pressure washed it or stuff. But then I got this 3M high strength uh, contact adhesive. I looked up something and it said that that's what it was good for for this. So, so I sprayed that. I'll spray another coat on it. This was the old carpet. It looks disgusting so but we will get another coat of adhesive on there and then I'll cut out my final piece of flooring and it should be done and put you guys up on the boat but I will but I will cut out this piece for you guys as soon as I find my knife so hopefully you can hear me I already have it measured out and everything and I made a little pre-cut to where everything should be so it should go pretty smoothly So that's the easy part is cutting this piece off. I mean it ain't really straight but I am so. Yeah I'll put you guys right there and I'll put this new piece in. Alrighty so we'll spray another coat of this. This really this stuff makes you really feel good if you know what I'm buying. I think you're supposed to wear like a respirator or something but kind of looks like a uh, silly phone or silly string but I'm gonna really make sure I get those 
corners and everything. Well, that came off. That came off pretty good. Just picking up some trash now. And And then I'll trim up my edges. It's not perfectly all the way back there, but I'll probably find a piece. Whoops. I'll probably find a piece to like burn or, or something. Get it close, close to it. Kind of just made a, a rough estimate of it. Just nobody's really going to see it anyway. So your feet are going to be under there, but. Well, there we go. That's all it is to it. So now we got the boat flooring officially done. Um, I will, I'll clean off all this stuff and show you. I don't know. I'll just show you guys. So once again, I'll clean up all of this trash. So once again, I will show you guys. This is the 1987. 2023 remodel 1987 bomber cougar um, with the orange trailer and i'll be refinishing this oxidization but everything's all ready the floor is done the floor is finished and it's all ready to go it's all ready to hit the water and look sexy so I know this is a shorter video and I'm sorry about that, but I just want to let you know. Yeah, also, we're trying to hit 150 subs by the end of September. If we do, I'll be giving away Guggen Squad Mondo Optics. Um, but I just wanted, guys, I wanted to tune you guys in along the journey what I'm doing. So with all of that being said, sorry about the short video. Um, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate every single one of you that subscribe. It means a whole lot to me. Um, and leaving me feedback on my journey with the boat and everything and fishing and everything. So with all that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the water. Peace.